know I, we've made it to Taurus Moon and Cancer Moon compatibility. I will say this. And I just pulled my earring out of my ear. I think I did. I will say this. I actually, I, I actually like this for Taurus Moon and I actually like this, and I feel that it's enough difference, um, and a enough difference to add that flavor, to add something different, to bring something different to each other, you know. But at the same time, you know, there's there's some sort of um, similarities there. Or there's an appreciation there between the two. Now, this is the thing because Cancer and Taurus are sextile energies together. So, yeah, you know. And another great thing about this is that both signs are favored by the moon. So, the moon likes being in both signs. So, when these two come together, you get a, a, a relationship. Like a committed relationship a lot of the times. And... It's really crazy because they both can recognize the stability within the other. They both recognizes each other's um, emotions and the safeness in each other. But it uh, this is the caveat that I see with Taurus Moon and Cancer Moon. If Cancer Moon or, you know, um, and to, like if they're feeling like this is something like a serious relationship or something like that or some sort of stable, consistent relationship is something that they cannot handle at the time one would choose to back out of it, okay? And Cancer Moon can choose to really, you know, stay, em be emotionally unavailable. And this can be something that really irks Taurus Moon. Now, so yes, they're e on, uh, emotionally, Taurus is going to provide a safe place for Cancer Moon. So Cancer Moon can kind of go take its time, re-energize, revitalize its emotions, tend to its emotions, whatever it needs to do and come back out, you know, without Taurus Moon. And Taurus Moon is still stable. It's still running stable. Without Taurus Moon really having to point that out every single time. Now, factoring in, this is factoring in other aspects. I get it. Like other placements or whatever. But for the most part, Taurus Moon is kind of like, okay, well, hmm, you know, it gives me a little space because sometimes Taurus Moon like to work. They like to make money and they like to um, also have their time being a little bit lazy sometimes and just kind of like soaking around, you know, and just like relaxing or whatever. They can just go into their own little space and relax for days and on days on end. All right, so this gives Cancer a little space. I do feel like sometimes Cancer Moon wants to draw the emotions out of Taurus Moon instead of Tor instead of Taurus Moon being really placid and stable. Cancer Moon wants to really kind of shake things up or kind of like feel that Taurus Moon is really um, wanting them, needing them, you know, feeling like they're they you know they they they're desiring them. Just like a Scorpio moon would do with a Cancer moon. You see what I'm saying? That That's what gets a Cancer moon um, active and feeling a little, and feeling safe because they don't really, you know, they, they like knowing that their partner is really there for them. Now, it takes a while because over time, I feel like Cancer moon ends up realizing that Taurus moon ain't going nowhere. Like the safety is still there. But I do also feel like and believe that Cancer Moon would like a lot of the effort put in towards, um, you know, them when it comes to Taurus Moon. And especially on the emotional level. Because um, without that, a lot of times Cancer Moon just, you know, is not going to really try. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To keep things going. Okay. Um. And, 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 and even, this is even with the, the masculine, the man dealing with the Cancer Moon. The man dealing with the Cancer Moon usually has... Now, don't get upset with me. I'm just telling you. They have like a more feminine side, a more receptive side. They really like... they Or they tend to go towards aggressive women. Like aggre feminines that's aggressive like the ones that do not mind it's not even about a role thing because it's not taking away the fact that they're men i'm not saying that they don't handle their business as men no 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 no. what i'm saying is that like a lot of partners you know um 
um, like it, it, women for the cancer moon sign men, they'll go, they don't mind being like, Hey, you know, what you doing? You know, listen, I got something planned for us. Or can you come out? Or like, do you think that you can, you know, take me out? Like the, the, some way, shape or form, the woman or the feminine energy is kind of showing like, Hey, I'm pulling you out of your shell, cancer moon, you know? Just enough to get the Cancer Moon to be like, okay, I feel safe. I want to be involved in this, um, whatever, you know, it, especially if it's a serious relationship. Because by far, I'm not saying that Cancer Moon sign men don't play around. I'm, that's not what I'm saying, okay? Um, but we're talking about these two together. Um, cancer Moon and um, Taurus Moon, they, they're naturally... These two can definitely create a family together. And they can definitely be the perfect parents for their, their children, you know, and raising them is like, they're going to make sure that they, the kids are supported in some type of way, especially financially or whatever, and making sure like the kids have what they need and stuff like that, especially if you're not dealing with something afflicted, like afflicted place, placements here, you know, um, meaning there was some, something done to this individual that's causing them to be more on the abusive side of things or whatever. Um, but for the most part, their environment, their home, it's like they're going to, it don't matter how big or little it is. Remember, we're ju they're just providing some form of security. And these, the children of these two can grow up in a very good nurturing home. You know, um, we, we have that. I feel that the problem, the biggest, biggest problem here with these two is that on both sides, it can be um a lack of putting like when there's changes that needs to come about to make the relationship go to the next level or make the relationship ship ship keeps going why did i just stutter like that <laughs> these two there nobody is really doing that you get what i'm saying because taurus moon is gonna be like i don't really understand what's going on with cancer moon right now i don't understand like emotionally i'm trying to figure things out like i mean, i'm not even gonna figure it out because i kind of feel like it, you know, he needs to just tell me or she needs to just tell me what's like going on because that's the only way I can fix the problem. When Cancer Moon is more like, no, 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 swim with me a little bit. Let me, like, I'm upset, but can you come and be, see what I'm upset about? Like, can you, can you relate to what that is? Can you sympathize with me? Can you empathize with me? Can you show more emotions to me? But, but Cancer Moon is not really saying this. Cancer Moon is like more intuitive, intuitive, intuiting this. Like if you see me backed away and you see me to myself, like, can you come and explore and find out what is wrong? And because of that, because of that, they could either not get off the ground or it's very hard to move past certain um, barriers and certain aspects of the relationship that's going to keep it going and then you get one or the other you get you know um cancer moon feeling like they got to kind of go out and they kind of got to get that from other people and you get towards moon locked in stubbornness and like okay well fine do you you know and they really do desire to be together though you know it'll it'll be one of those things but these two i feel like it's very could be very sexy together like other people would even notice that because it's just this is a sextile energy anyway. It's like you get to you got emotions involved, you get the feeling and touching like boom boom bada bang bada boom. Okay. Okay, but you gotta y'all both if you really cancer moon, if you really want Taurus Moon, you gotta get out of your feelings sometimes. And talk to them. Taurus Moon, you gotta you gotta go there with Cancer Moon sometimes. I get it. I get it. Even when they're the man. And you're like, okay, well, why are you acting like this? <laughs> oh. And this has been Taurus Moon and Cancer Moon compatibility. You know I'm butterfly tonight. Because I already told you you on my channel and you already know, okay? So, you know, I'm going to be back to finish these Taurus Moon sign compatibilities.